How to add shadow on shape in Canva. Hello, hope you're doing good. I'm your host, Jason. The first thing you're going to need to do is go over to the left hand menu option. Then from there, you could tap on elements and you could type in shapes. After you have typed in shapes, you could tap on see all. And by the way, after watching this tutorial, you'll be able to add shadows on shapes. You'll also be able to add it on text and images. So for example, we can scroll down and we can select any one of these shapes. So let's say for example, this one, you can see that it has now been added. Now to add a shadow to it, all you want to do is select the shape. Then you're going to tap on the three dashes right here beside the font style that says border style. You're going to tap right there. After you have done that, you can tap on this option right here. And you can see a shadow has now been added. You can also increase the border weight by simply pulling along the cursor. So you can see that the shadow has been increased right there. Now you can change the color by simply tapping on the color box right here. So you could change the color to something else if you want. So if I wanted to change it to yellow, I could do that as you can see right there. Now let's say for example, you would like to add the shadow to a text. All you need to do, let's say we go over to the left hand menu option. Then from there, we tap on add a text. So we can tap right there. And I'm just going to be leaving this random text right here. And I'm going to type in test just for example sake. Now to add the shadow, all you'll need to do is select the text. After you have selected the text, you are going to tap on effects. Then you could go over to the left hand menu option, tap on shadow. And then from there, you can see you can change the shade. So you could change the color right here. So let's say we want to change the color from black to white. Then after doing that, you can simply scroll back up. And then you can increase the amount of blur. So you could simply pull along the offset right there and see if it is still liking. You can also change the direction as you can see right there. And you can also increase the blur. There are numerous options that you can choose from. You can pull along the transparency right there. You can also add outline if you want. So let's say you'd like to add an outline instead. You can see the different options right there. Now, if it is a case that you'd like to add the shadow to an image, you can also do that. So let's say, for example, we would like to add it to this image. I'll simply select the image. So let's add the image to our timeline. After you have added the image, let's small decrease the size right there. All you'll need to do is select the image, then tap on edit photo. After you have tapped on edit photo, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option, scroll down and select shadows. After selecting shadows from here, you can either select glow. You can also select drop as you can see right here, then scroll down and we could change the color. So you could tap on the color box right here. Let's say we wanted to change it to red. You can see it now has a red shadow as you can see there. And you can also edit how it looks by simply pulling along the line right here. So you can increase the intensity. You could also tap on outline if it is a case that you wanted to add an outline. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.